To make your salt dough teddy bear, take a paper towel and fold it up, dip it in water, squeeze out some of the excess water, and lay it next to your workspace. I usually use a piece of foil underneath mine in case it gets stuck to the board that I'm using. You could use paper too. So take a portion of your dough and roll it up. It doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. Then cut it in half. Take half of it and roll it into a sphere and then shape it into sort of a, a elongated circle or oval and then cut the other piece in half and if it dries out you can dip it in the water on your paper towel and that just made it tacky enough that it's going to stick right in place. and I'm kind of flattening them out a little bit too. Then take the rest of your clay and cut it into quarters, one-fourth there you go, into fours. And then roll them into balls. Luckily, mine are all the same size. But if yours are different sizes, you might have to adjust and add more or take away some of the dough. And then I put them on the top and the bottom of the bear for their arms and legs. Next, I'm going to take a little bit more of my dough. And I'm going to make a snout. And this is just a sphere that is... Um, elongated a little bit into an oval and I'm going to get it wet so it sticks and it should be a little bit flat. Then I'm going to take a tiny little piece for the ear and I'm going to cut that in half and I like to get it sort of wet so it sticks right away. That's sort of like the water is the glue. And then I'm going to take just a, the tiniest piece of clay and make a teeny tiny nose. Now I'm ready to make the hat. And I like to color the dough for the hat because um, it's really hard to paint it or color it with markers once it's on the bear. So I just take a regular marker, not a permanent marker, but just a regular watercolor marker and then I'm just tapping the dough and folding it. Notice how thin it is and then I just fold it once I get it full and this way it the ink from the marker keeps away from your fingers and you won't get your fingers stained so badly. So just keep mushing it up and it takes a long time to do it. It looks pink now because white, the white of the clay is mixing with the red and then that makes pink. So the more you do this, the darker it gets. It takes a while. I finally got it red enough. And now I'm gonna go wash my hands. Take a paper clip and straighten it out and then just put some holes. This helps the clay dry out a little bit, especially if it's thick. I put some by the eyes and I also put some behind the ears. And then I'm gonna take and make the hat. I rolled a sphere and then I shaped it into a cone, sort of like a triangle, and added it. Now my clay was pretty sticky, so I didn't add water, but if yours is sort of dry, dip it in water first, dip it on the paper towel first. Now I've got to make sure that my hands are clean when I pick up the regular white dough. Otherwise, I'm going to get red all over that. And then I just am cleaning that up a little bit. And then I'm just going to make a little texture on the little pom-pom of the stocking cap that I made for the bear. Now, the next part um, is important because that the other half of that paper clip um, can be the hook or you can take wire and bend wire and then twist it. And then that can go in it. Or you can take that other half of the paper clip and just slide it in. And now you have a little hanger so that you can slip some ribbon or some yarn through it and hang it up. Now I'm making, this is, this is extra, but um, this is a heart that's gonna go on 
the chest of the bear. And I just took a little bit of clay and with the, with the knife, I shaped it into the heart and then pressed it on there. And this can also be done in marker when you're done. Put a little water on the chest and then place the heart and tap into place. Now you're ready to put it on a cookie sheet. Now they can air dry, but it takes three to four days to dry out. Or to speed things up a little bit, you can put them on a cookie sheet and put them in the oven for about one and a half to two hours at 225 degrees. Make sure your parents help you with that. With the extra dough, you can make cookie cutter ornaments. I have another video that shows you how to do that as well.